Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryan, and uh, we're gonna be doing some Objective C mathematics today. Uh, I like I like doing math and computer programming because it makes me feel smart and it makes me have more self esteem and feel good about myself. So uh, I've never done so much math in Objective C, but I have done CG points um, and positioning with X and Y axes. So I think I'm a little bit experienced with this. So we're gonna jump right into this. My math grade in school is like a, a CD, but Computer science math is really actually more effective in terms of careers and more, I would say, important because if you know how to add, multiply, divide, and subtract, then you're just about good. And computers are going to control our world soon enough, probably, which they already do enough. So this is going to be rather important to know if you know if you are interested in computer programming. Computer science is a great course to take. I'm taking that next year when I'm a sophomore. So it's really good. it's gonna be a really good class to take, and they teach you a lot about programming in the C plus plus and C language. So create a view based application. Call it Math. Bring this a little bit bigger. Four point three, and this is the old X code because I'm on my laptop. So okay, I'm gonna stop talking about random shit, and we're gonna get into this. So make an IB outlet for a text field. We'll call this field one. Actually, I'm gonna call this value one. A little bit smarter sounding. I'd be out for another UI text field, star value two, and a UI label, star label. So then we're gonna make an action, call that cal calculate, and ID is sender. Copy this, paste it into your M. Um, Bracket, bracket. Okay, we're gonna jump right in. We're not using integers. We're gonna work in floats. They're a little bit easier to work with. So x equals parenthesis bracket field one dot text float value uh, bracket parenthesis semicolon float y equals x. And we're gonna be doing addition first. So x parenthesis bracket field two dot text. Oh, it's not field. My oh god, my bad value one that's why it was staying black i was getting nervous value two dot text also again float value print up oh, wrong way Semicolon. label dot text equals um ns string allocated um in it with format uh at quotes percent two dot f um quotes comma y because y is our second float so then uh, bracket semicolon and build and the build was succeeded successfully so we're gonna go create our interface oops okay so let's go into here go into here keep table navigation bar call that objective c math and we're gonna create two text fields This one like right here. Button to calculate our math. And we're gonna need two labels. We put one in here. Make this black so we can actually see it. Center it. I'm gonna just put a little X for multiplication. And I'm gonna maybe make this a little bit more appealing and bold. Oh my god. Paste it up here and just set this value to zero for now. Probably move this stuff up. Okay, files owner. Connections, label to the zero, value one to our first text field, value two to our second text field, and calculate to our button. And in these fields, it looks better if I have a uh, placeholder. So I'm going to call this value one and oops, value two. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So close that uh, interface builder, build and run. And this is actually really good to know because there isn't that much math involved besides this. So this is really good to know. 
So five and five. It added, which is ten. So let's say five plus ten thousand is nine 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 nine, whatever that is. So you put in any number and it will work, I guarantee it. Ten plus five is fifteen, obviously. Twenty-five, you can put seven hundred, seven hundred five. So all these will add it. So then if we go here to this plus sign, change this to an asterisk, build and run. Asterisk in code in pro object well, the C language is multiplication. So let's do uh, nine times um, nine, eighty one. Uh, 9 times 12, 108. 9 times 13, 132. Or 17, my bad. 14, and it will always, any answer will give you an answer. So this is multiplication. So then we could do, change this to a subtraction, build and run. So now we could do 5 subtract 3, which is 2. Or 5 subtract 6 is a negative 1. So this also can go into negatives. So if I have a, uh, let's say, I, I wonder if I could do negative. So negative 5 plus 5 is negative 10. Or th in this case, uh, I actually regret putting this here. <laughs> we could just do, um, math symbol. So then you know whatever it is. Actually, I'm just not even going to put anything. <laughs> so whatever app you're making, if you're using math with multiplication, like a calculator, calculators are really actually harder to make because they involve a lot of numbers. When after all this, you could just do this. I mean, it's 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 really really useful. I mean, I can I might as well just make myself an app right now for this because it's really good to have. So like I can have a negative number. Say I have a negative um, eighty nine because I am doing exponent properties and it's really confusing. Like it's like a whole bunch of parentheses. I wonder if I can have parentheses in here too. No. So negative 9 plus 4, sign of the higher number, subtract. So 9 subtract 4 is negative 13, sign of the higher number. So therefore, it is negative 13, and our calculator successfully works, guys. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate all my subscribers and my viewers. I love you all. Have a good day.